broadcasting live four days a week worldwide from the sunny beaches of Southern California. This is ExtremeHealthRadio.com. Hi there, everybody. Dr. Joe Dispenza here. My website's drjoedispenza.com. I'm the author of my latest book, You Are the Placebo, Making Your Mind Matter. And you're listening to Kate and Justin on Extreme Health Radio. I hope you enjoy the show. We've got another great episode for everybody today. We're excited to be here with Mary Atala, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's going to be fun. We're going to get into all kinds of cool stuff. I'm excited to see where this all goes. I know, right? Mary is a wealth of knowledge, so this is really, really cool to see just where we end up today. This is going to be episode 366, so if you want to check out the show notes or anything like that, you can go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash 366. And for reference, it's Thursday, March 12th, 2015. You got it. Look at that. Got it right. <laughs> uh, and Mary's website is mariatala.com, M-A-R-Y-A-T-T-A-L-L-A, if you're interested in checking out her stuff. Really great. Um, really, really going to be a fun show. And uh, she's into all kinds of really interesting information like energy medicine, structural and integrative body work, manipula- manipulative therapies, kundalini yoga, quantum healing, all kinds of cool stuff. My goodness. What yeah. doesn't she do? I know, right? So I want to also. Think- can I mention real quick that she has an eight hundred number as well? Oh yeah. Just real quick before we get in, if, if anyone wants to get in contact with her, it's the new number she has. It's one eight 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 three four zero three six seven two. Awesome. So you can get her website and email her, or even call that number. So just want to throw that out there. Awesome. Sounds good. If you guys would like to support our show, a great way to do that is a, a cool little tool called Patreon, and you can donate to our podcast on a per radio show basis. So you can even donate less than a dollar. So mm-hmm. um, it's really a great thing. And if all of you guys were able to do that, it would be such a great help and such a great uh, support of our show. So if you go to extremehealthradio.com slash support, uh, you can do that and support us on a per podcast basis. So I like that really- little tool. I think it's so fun. We listen to some other podcasts that we follow <coughs> that we uh, found Patreon through and we support yeah, it's, ways it's awesome. that way too. It's so a cool it's tool. Cool. It's like crowdfunding for uh, mm-hmm. for people that produce online content. It's, really mm-hmm. cool. it's pretty awesome. Yeah. It is cool. Yeah. So, Mary, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. My goodness. The other day, <laughs> we came over to your place uh, and had some sessions with you and... Uh, Yes. That was pretty pretty enlightening. <laughs> it was Glad enlightening. It was. I, I think it's funny how we met Mary. We were at Dr. Bergman's office, and you turned around. We were in, all in the waiting room. <laughs> we were in the waiting room. And Justin turns over, and he goes, gosh, that girl looks so familiar. <laughs> so familiar. I think and I he went goes, to high school with her. Yeah. I still feel like I did. <laughs> Even, Even though, though you we didn't. didn't. <laughs> I know, that's, that's, that's and he so goes, funny. I think she's from our town. You need to go You need to go find her. And say we need to ask her if she's... And I go, okay, well, you walked out the door. Because I just got called car. up to the table. <laughs> yeah, you then, got called up for your adjustment. Yeah. And I, I hauled out the door and ran down the corridor and yelled, excuse me. Right. <laughs> and you turned around, and you're like, yeah? And I said, are you from you know San Clemente? And you said, yeah. And it was one of those... Oh, fellow meant, kindred things meant to be meant to uh, be so yes, definitely. little did we know that you have this giant body of work <laughs> that you do I just thought we could be friends but obviously we are yes so I'm going to read a little bit yeah about read what about she's Mary because just mm-hmm. uh, amazing she's an expert in alternative medicine um, her background lasts over 18 years consists of alternative medicine clinical European and eastern spa therapies uh, medicinal arom- aromatherapy herbology nutrition Ayurveda energy medicine Structural and integrative body work, uh, as well as other various manipulative therapies. <laughs> Kundalini yoga. I want to ask you about that. Yes, definitely. Kundalini yoga, quantum healing, laser therapy, chelation therapy, corrective supplements, diets, cleansing, detoxification. <laughs> <laughs> this, man, this is crazy. How do you have time for all this? I, you know, it, I think it was, um, I went through a lot of really serious health issues, and it was kind of more about uh you know digging in deep to search it's kind of more for survival really Mm. um but i got so deep into it that i started to you know kind of create a following with what i do and i realized that you know this is my purpose (laughs) this is what i'm this is what i'm here to do and um 
it kind of like during dur- going through a lot of my severe health issues, just kind of putting a uh, goal to be able to get this information out to the masses really actually helped me get through my own health challenges. So, so at the same time you were healing up, you were also helping others heal? Yes, because I found that it helped me to kind of get outside of myself. It was actually a big part of my um, healing. And typically when you serve others or, um, you know, I guess you could say channel healing energy to them. I actually get the energy back 10 times. So it's not mm. a bad. <laughs> well, that's, I w- that's one of the things deal. I was asking you about. Do you get drained when you work on people? Never. I actually, I kind of feel a natural high. Yeah. So I think it's, it's kind of, um, it's kind of addictive. <laughs> yeah. That is so strange because for me, I, I just know my body and how I work. If I were to do the work that you do, I, I would feel zapped all day. You know, I've heard many, a lot of healers and healthcare practitioners say that, but for some reason, um, that's really never been the case for me. I oh, think it's a, probably what drives me to keep keep going. That is so cool. Now, I, what was it? Oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm now, sorry. what was it that we uh, you worked on when I came in? What was that called? Well, I'm I'm trained in over 30 different uh, modalities of uh, healing touch and therapeutic body therapies. Uh-huh. So it's kind of hard to say, like, it's not really one thing. I, I kind of combine a lot of the therapies. I think I've kind of probably created my own healing techniques when I work with some with people. But I basically worked to um, manipulate spinal fluid, work the central nervous system, okay. which affects every fluid system of the body and every organ in the system. So it kind of just brings the, the body into homeostasis and helps the body to heal and repair itself. So I've just become very good and adept at really listening to uh-huh. a person's body. And when you manipulate their spinal fluid, what happens and why does it get stuck in people? Gravity, <laughs> oh, really? lifestyle, um, diet, p- improper nutrition, uh, working out improperly at the gym, uh-huh. or <laughs> sounds what, familiar. Why are you winking at me when you say <laughs> <The> that? Jab, jab, <laughs> jab, jab. <laughs> <laughs> well, hit, hit. No. Um, so, I mean, there's. It's just. I think just life, you know, creates yeah. a lot of inconsistencies in the body. Um, so you just kind of remind the body, you know, how to heal and repair itself. It kind of just ne- usually needs like a little, a little hint and a cue, and the body will start to heal itself. It's interesting. Um, oh, go ahead. Mm-mm. No, sorry, I just took. It. <laughs> no, it's go. just interesting. I heard Dr. Bergman say one time that um, based on just our lifestyle and how we um, structurally move mm-hmm. and our posture and things. Um, because we do it incorrectly, it creates little microscopic uh, fractures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then over time, they sort of build up. And you probably can't see them on a micro- um, in an x-ray, x-ray or anything, but they're there, they're there. And over time, it gets worse and worse. And that's why people eventually go to see him. But I thought that was interesting. Just from our posture, we can do that. Yes, a- absolutely. There's so It's so... There's a lot of little minute things that we do uh, to our body that can create... Um, you know, the inconsistencies uh-huh. and, uh, you know, everything to me is energy. I, I like Dr. Bergman because he's really in, in touch with energy medicine, even though he works a lot on the, on the physical and the, and the bone structure. Uh-huh. But for me, I found, I guess you could say I do kind of the homeopathic remedy of, of body work. Uh-huh. And I've actually, it's so subtle, but it's actually extremely profound. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, and when, and I think Kate has seen me actually perform a session. It really looks like I'm not really doing much, maybe just touching certain parts mm-hmm. of the body, but it, um, it's profound because a lot of people say they feel much, much more relaxed if mm-hmm. they had, you know, done a massage. So you well, had that, that was, experience, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> that was my experience because I went to see you, I think what was a couple of weeks ago? I think mm-hmm. so, yeah. And that was not long after I had initially injured, re-injured my back mm-hmm. and I was in a lot of pain. And it was interesting because the mani- the manipulation was ex- exactly what you're talking about mm-hmm. where it wasn't very, um, it wasn't like a, a hard chiropractic adjustment. It mm-hmm. was very soft and mellow and it felt so incredibly relaxing um, and I didn't really feel any improvement until the next day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, that night I was like, I don't know if that did anything. I feel like maybe, <laughs> I mean, I feel amazing, but 
I don't know. And then the next day, there was, uh, remember that? It took a quantum leap after that. It was night and day. And and that's kind of what subtle, um, you know, body work will do. It, it starts to reverberate through your, you know, the different parts of your, your body, your magnetic field. And it, it kind of, your body starts to unwind. Uh And it takes sometimes a few days, sometimes a few weeks. So I've found, um, just through working through so many people and getting feedback that a lot of the times the body work that I do with the healing therapy I do with them, it's kind of has a permanent effect. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's, that's good and bad. <laughs> I guess there's a lot, a lot of people that could use it. So, but it's bad for repeat business. But well, no, you I know mean, what? That's, I'm not about having people depend on me. Yeah. I'm really about empowering people how to kind of be their own, I guess, healer or doctor. Nice. Um, so, but actually it brings more business because then everybody starts. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> because result. it's, it's nice to not have to continuously, you know, have to repeat a therapy and just have it like a one time or a few sessions. Or... Oh yeah. Wow. Now, did you always kind of know you had this healing ability? Do you think it's a, I mean, when you come <laughs> into someone's body and kind of feel things around, um, I know you're kind of, you said when we were visiting with Justin's session that you don't know really what to call yourself. <laughs> Because you have so many different modalities and you kind of just feel. So that clearly seems like a gift to me. Um, Were you aware of that growing up that you had this sort of thing within you? Well, I I think I was aware because I had it um, kind of reflected to me. Like when I was little, I was very intuitive. Uh I remember when I was five years old, I was leaving for school one day and I turned to my dad. My mom was pregnant and I said, mom's going to have the baby today. And my dad's like, no, she's two weeks out. And I, I remember I came home and... Like, no, you're five. You, you can't know that. <laughs> you don't even know what That's babies a, she, are. She, Yeah, I came back and she was in the hospital. She had oh, had the, the baby. But I've had a lot of little things like that. And my mother told me a story that when I was a little, um, I think I was like one or two years old, a lady came up. She looked like kind of a gypsy. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> came up to my mother in the grocery store and said, your daughter's very... Uh, very special you know she's gonna be doing some great things in the yeah. in the world and i thought that was... so what did your mom tell you that maybe after you were grown up my so mom to told me head. that i think <laughs> maybe 10 years ago wow yeah oh my gosh i got chills when you said I, that that's wow crazy. i i it's funny because i've actually um I've tried to run from my path many times have you it's it's, it's overwhelming and yeah. sometimes people look at you like you're weird you know i was originally planning to go to like to law school and go the the corporate like conservative route and so my family looks at me kind of strange do they i bet they do (laughs) but they've just accepted it and but anytime i've tried to run away from it my you know life kind of gets turned upside down so i i i know (laughs) it's not back into place (laughs) i just have to recalibrate to to what i'm what i'm supposed to do what about your your uh brothers and sisters do they do they think you're because your parents, you, you go to work with them, right? And they, they're accepting of you now. Yeah, that, yes, because I've, I've actually helped my mother through a lot of health issues. She had uh, breast cancer. Uh-huh. And so it's taken a long time to get them to do basic things like, you know, eat organic, change their water. Right. And they don't do most everything, you know, mm-hmm. I recommend. But um, the rest of the family now is kind of starting to. Are they really? follow along, but that's that's kind of what I've seen because I I am very cutting edge with what I do, and uh-huh. even with clients, sometimes you know I'll tell them this is really what you need to do, you know, to to help your body heal, and it uh-huh. may seem too much for them at mm-hmm. the time, but I find out like I'll hear from them two years, four years, five years, ten years later, and they start to change, you know, a cor- like it's just about really planting seeds. I don't uh-huh. really get. I try, actually try not to get stuck into my ego about, you know, you should do this and yeah, right now. Yeah. Just I've learned, you know, people are going to wake up and heal at their own, you know. At their own time. At their own time. That's a delicate balance to have that. I mean, we all have people <laughs> in our life, right, like our family and friends um, who, who don't necessarily understand any of the stuff that we're into. Mm-hmm. And you know it, right? And it's such a delicate balance to... Um, to reach out to them or, or if, if you see them doing something that's very destructive and then the next day they're complaining about whatever the results of that is <laughs> and to not really say anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, that's... To not push. I've learned to bite my tongue. Yeah. <laughs> sure. But yeah. I'm sure a lot of us see that with our you know family. And the funny thing is you could have someone who's like an expert in a field, but I've found... That usually the pe- your family who's closest to you won't listen. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's exactly what we're finding. Because they still think you're their little baby or their mm-hmm. little kid. You know, mm-hmm. it's just. Um, 
But I think as they start to see like the results and the benefit that I have with other people, Uh they just really become, you know, in awe of it. And they start to kind of go towards, let's say, go towards more of the light. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) So what sort of, I'm so curious, what sort of things are people mostly coming in for? I mean, I'm sure you see a wide array, but is there a, is there a typical client that comes in with a specific pro, like a, you know, it's, problem. it's, it's funny because, um, I, I, I studied a little bit with, um, with some medicine men and shamans, very untraditional people. I've, and I've also studied with medical doctors. Um, but the thing that I was told by this one shaman was that don't ever really solicit what you do. People will find you, you know, people will, the, the, whoever needs you will come and find you. So I've had, people that are in their teens all the way to their 70s. I've had very, very wealthy clients. I've had very, you know, very poor clients. I've had really a whole gamut of society. So there really isn't like a particular type of person that comes to Mm me. But usually the person that, you know, seeks me out is someone who's really ready to to take it to the next level in their in their healing process. They're Mm -hmm. kind of ready to let go of whatever physical, mental, or emotional burden mm-hmm. they've been carrying. So, are you finding with people that you're you're finding sort of the energetic, the spiritual, emotional is the core of what a lot of people's health, physical health issues are? Is that hard to overcome with people? I think it's the most. Cha- I think a lot of the physical issues really stem from uh, trauma. From. Um, emotional trauma emotional trauma a lot of it's from childhood Mm. yeah a lot of it's from childhood a lot of the people who struggle with their personal relationships it's something they're acting out from from childhood we had uh dr alex lloyd on the show i'm not sure if you're familiar with him he uh he has a book called and a program called the healing codes okay and which is really interesting you say that because um he was talking about on our show where um a past trauma of a child has been so insignificant. It is something as insignificant as um, someone took a, a blanket away from a child. Mm-hmm. And we think as an adult, oh, that's not very significant. <laughs> Big deal, right? But it, it, it's directly correlated with the amount of hormones and cortisol levels and stress hormones that get created at yes. the time that they throw the tantrum. Yes. And so this person that he was talking about, this little child, had some issue where someone took away like a yellow blanket of his when he was young, like a little boy. And um, so now he, he got triggered by the color yellow as later on oh, in life. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And so, and, it, and he tied it all the way back to that. And it's just so interesting that it doesn't necessarily matter how big the trauma is, but mm-hmm. how, how much emotion and cortisol and stress the child emits and creates in their body that creates this weird sort of energetic block and maybe yeah and and, and it, it's actually very scientific because a lot of times you know when you say oh your your health issues are mental and emotional it kind of sounds a little airy fair sounds weird right? yeah <laughs> it sounds, sounds woo woo it sounds woo woo <laughs> but it's not it, it's it's a chemical response that your body <clears throat> releases like uh, i have a lot of executives that come in and and work with me and they're under a lot of stress and they're constantly you know um you know, their cortisol levels are very high in their body mm-hmm. and you just you know i just kind of retrain the body that you know you're not under attack you're not you know mm-hmm. under um there's no you know danger right. it's just the bot the nervous system is extremely extremely delicate and i find with my work it's typically the area that i like to target with people whether it's with nutrition or a hands-on therapy or um, yoga uh-huh. or coaching the nervous system it's it's just it's very a, very intricate it seems like it's very do yeah. a lot of people have a release or a breakdown of sorts when you're working on them do they feel because emo- I know sometimes when I've been in yoga classes you'll see somebody in a crumpled mess on the floor crying <laughs> and they didn't surprise <laughs> they would surprise them they didn't expect it do you see that kind of thing come out when you're working on people I've actually experienced that a few times like having heavy releases but I'm also I don't like to put people into healing crisis whether it's physical or emotional I think it's kind of counterproductive so and I, but I, at the same time, I also like to take them from point A to B in the most direct, you know, fashion. Mm. So I, it's really, it's, it's really customized. Everything I do is really per person. And I just, you know, I think I file, follow the guidance of a higher intelligence uh-huh. and I kind of get out of the way. I don't really mm-hmm. put myself into it and think this is how it should be for this person. Cause everybody's mm-hmm. so, 
you know, unique and they're their own universe. Mm -hmm. So Ooh, that must be well put. <laughs> that must be so challenging for like an executive, like you said, like a, <laughs> to be in that corporate world. And how do you deal with stress? I mean, it's such a different type of stress than yes. we're used to and, and supposed to. I mean, we're supposed to have a little bit of stress when danger happens and things, but that's just so strange, isn't it? It it is, and I, to be honest, they're 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 kind of one of my more, um, I think, as favorite types of clients because they carry the weight of the world on their shoulders. They usually yeah. have hundreds or thousands of of you know employees or or people that they work with, and so it's so nice to be able to make. A, a change, like a, you know, help a person like that and make a change mm -hmm. so that their demeanor comes off, you know, you, you know, it's a lot more, um, like, what's subdued? the right word? <laughs> yeah, like, subdued, peaceful, or peaceful, right? More, pe more peaceful, more content, more, mm -hmm. you know, more, I guess, in synergy, more in balance. Mm. And, um, that really, that affects everybody that, that works with them. So for yeah. me, I've found like with my work, I want to be able to get it out to as many people as possible. So working with people who affect the lives of hundreds or thousands of millions of people. That's pretty cool. It's, it's really kind of where I try to, um, to focus my work at this time. So, so you do my do goodness. stuff with, um, like Ayurvedic principles. Do you eat in Ayurvedic style kind of <laughs> diet? Um, Do you follow much of that, or a well, little bit? I've I've studied quite a bit of it, mm -hmm. and I've studied a lot of the old ancient practices of of diet, uh, healing, and uh, herbs. And what I do is. I've kind of created like a hybridized version of all these things that, but again, it's, it's, it's a system. It's kind of a code you tap into. Mm -hmm. If you really look deep enough, there's, there is a universal code of how your body assimilates nutrition or mm -hmm. herbs or minerals or, you know, healing work. And, um, so from that code, I just again customize it per, for the person's, uh, needs. And I try not to, I mean, yes, I've studied a lot. I mean, I have stacks of certificates, but when I work on a person, I kind of throw all of that, you know, yeah, you know, out, and I just really use my use my intuition, and then I will back it up with with research. Because so. all that's really just just theory, and I mean, when it comes down to exactly. it, and the person sitting in front of you, exactly. you can't because like a raw food diet or a paleo diet, I mean, or an Ayurvedic, <laughs> it could work for someone, but it's. It doesn't work for everybody, no. Yeah, and they and it may work for someone for this time in their life, and then they need to go on to something else when they start. I mean, the body's dynamic, right? I mean, it's well, like you know, it's funny that you you mentioning um, you know the raw food diet and the paleo diet. I've studied a lot of these. There's always a new book. It seems like that comes out, and it's the craze, know, and everybody right? follows it. But there are silver linings of truth <clears throat> within a lot of those books, and I mean, basically, what it comes down to, your body's. Physio physiology needs certain things. It's not a spiritual thing. You're, but for your physical body to sustain, you need X, Y, and Z. Um, but every body is different. Everybody has a different body type. So finding the p the puzzle pieces for that specific individual. Like I actually create um, custom nutritional plans for people, and so that's based on their you know a little bit on their genetics, their family health history, their um, health problems and their lifestyle so it's not going to this like if i create a diet for you kate it's not going to be the same as justin's diet okay your body metabolizes things differently <laughs> your body deals with stress differently and every 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 person is so unique that it's kind of hard to follow one book or one 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 diet and there's you know i love i love raw food but to just do raw food yeah. it's really not sustainable and it's not healthy for for most people some yeah. people can get away with it and some people you know maybe need to do that 80% of the time some people maybe need to do that 10% of the time it's yeah. just it's just very um unique to the individual is that really hard is that hard hard work for you to come up with that specific program for people or does it kind of download through you on a higher level <laughs> yes. I mean, is that a it's, lot of work um it's taken me 18 years to okay. develop it so y yes it's been a lot of work <laughs> but um but yeah at the same time when i when i when i work with somebody it just kind of starts to download but i've created kind of a, f a formula for it okay. but it's taken years of trial and error and research and studying and um and i'm i'm just really excited to get it out to the world now 
<laughs> this is so thrilling to me. You know, I want to ask you too. We're going to take a little break, but I want to ask you after the break that because um, you were talking about before t- taking the EMF and redirecting it. Yes. And I want to talk about that because we have this little thing here, and I want to get a, a, a meter and, and <clears throat> do some testing. But we'll talk about that, and then I also want okay. to talk about Kundalini yoga because mm-hmm. we've never done that. Absolutely. Oh. You, is that your main form of when you do yoga? Do you m- mostly do that? It's it's mainly Kundalini. Yes. Really, mm-hmm. I've heard so much about it. Mm-hmm. I, don't know anything about it. Yeah, we'll get into that. And I have to say, there's a very big fan in the chat room named Mark who said, there's something about Mary. <laughs> so <Thank> there's <laughs> something about Mary. <laughs> I said, I agree. You just, you have this way about you. You're amazing. So oh, funny. That's nice, Mark. And we're glad you joined us in the chat. Okay, so this is episode 366. I got that right. And this is Extreme Health Radio. We broadcast typically every Friday morning. This week's a little bit different, but typically every Friday morning. The next few weeks are going to be on Monday mornings, but... Um, every Friday morning thereafter at 9 a.m. Pacific time at extremehealthradio.com slash live. You can join the show, make some friends in the chat room, and we'll be right back right after this break. I have to say, I have been absolutely loving this product by Tristan Truscott and Peter Ragnar called Good Morning, Good Evening, Qigong. If you want to listen to the interview we did with Tristan, you can go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash 127. And Qigong is a great way to de-stress the body. And as you know, There's a huge component to disease caused by stress, and stress is a huge factor in how we live our lives and the amount of energy we have and the amount of vitality we have. And so, Dr. Shade, what do you think about Qigong? People come to me, and they're really sick, and they got this blown-out neurological system and all this toxicity, and I tell them, you need to do Qigong Tai Chi. You need to do these things that settle down and restore your neurology because it puts together all the parts. It puts you back into that state where you can start to detoxify. Mm. And so I highly, highly recommend all that. And what about you, Kit Campbell? What do you think about Qigong? Do you like it as well? Qigong is amazing and the reason that i believe it to be amazing is everything here is energy that is a scientific fact if there ever is one so Hmm. when you're practicing qigong you're actually drawing energy into your body your intention whatever your intention is behind any action will determine the level of energy type of energy that you absorb into your body so your intention behind <laughs> your is very important, just like thought. So when you're practicing Qigong, you're actually bringing energy in and you're bringing out the stuff that might be a bit stale. With Tai Chi, it's totally different. The energy runs underneath the skin because it's, a, it's more of a, a martial This is the Chinese understanding, by the way. It's more of a martial art. So Qigong is very, very good for bringing that energy into the body and just fantastic. If you're interested in picking up this Qigong course by Tristan Truska, and Peter Ragnar, go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash Qigong, that's Q-I-G-O-N-G, and you can learn more about it. There's a great video on that page, and you can learn more about it on that page, and I highly, highly recommend this product. I love it myself, so go ahead and check that out, extremehealthradio.com forward slash Qigong. In today's modern world, we're surrounded by magnetic radiation, electric fields, radio waves, microwaves from our cell phones, our laptops, our computers, iPads, and even cell phone towers and power lines. These EMF frequencies damage the blood-brain barrier, they cause sleep problems, they decrease melatonin and disturb our electric bodies. After much research, that's why we recommend a company called Less EMF. Listen to what founder Dr. Emil de Toffel has to say. The dangers of radiation, where do you even begin? There's many different kinds of radiation and there's many different kinds of dangers. Modern electronic devices will emit a variety of electromagnetic fields, electric fields, magnetic fields, radio waves, and microwaves. This type of radiation has been associated with a variety of health effects, including cancers, headaches, sleeplessness, ADD, diabetes, and more. The effects seem to be cumulative, and our exposure seems to be cumulative as we're adding more and more electronic devices in our world and spending more and more time with each one. Radiation levels and the type of radiation from these devices vary, but its impact seems to accumulate in the body. So we do have shielding of a variety of different kinds. We have shielding metals to control magnetic fields, shielding canopies to put over your bed. So if you have an electromagnetic situation, we probably have a solution for it. Protect yourself and your family today. They've got very affordable products for all of your portable devices, your home, and more. 
visit extremehealthradio.com forward slash less EMF. That's L E S S E M F. Or check them out in our store to see videos. Again, go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash less EMF. Listener supported. Extreme Health Radio. Opening minds and transforming lives worldwide. worldwide. Don't forget to join our thriving community for health tips, inspiration, and show updates at extremehealthradio.com slash Facebook. Isn't that funny? What is that? Is it English? I don't know. We just think it sounds so cool. What we've come up with is it was Tallahatchie roll over me. Mm-hmm. Is that right? The Tallahatchie is what the, the... I'm going to blow this. Is river that, through Mississippi? Or is that a river? I think so. Tallahatchie River. That's what, and you know what? The more I hear it, I think that is what he's saying, but... I didn't think it was English either. Like, <laughs> God knows what okay. this guy's it's mumbling not, on about. It's not only me. Oh, no. We've yeah, talked about sounds, this for two years. We still can't figure it out. I've tried it to out. find out who does this song, and it's such a cool song. <laughs> you know, we like the a, vibe. Yeah. Tallahatchie, roll over know. me. I hope he, I hope he seriously, find, whoever this is, finds that on our show one day, and it's like, it's me. Oh, man. That would be so cool. <laughs> I would love it. We use him all the time, and he has no clue. We do a whole show with just him in the studio <laughs> playing music. <laughs> so, so nothing health related. Oh, explain to us this song. <laughs> Concert. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That would be awesome. So if you guys are interested in any of those products, the Qigong product, do you um, do you do Qigong? I don't, actually. Yeah, it's I, a... I don't teach it. It's a great, great thing. We love doing it in Qigong, and um, we just did a little commercial for Less EMF. I'm wearing my... Less EMF over <laughs> my, my, my... Your man's My man's parts. <laughs> parts. So yeah, Less EMF, that's a great, great website. You can get all kinds of meters, detectors, um, all kinds of really cool things at lessemf.com. So go through our link if you're interested in protecting yourself from any of these uh, electromagnetic fields and things. And speaking of which, I wanted to ask you, um, what are some of the ways that you deflect that energy? Because you talked about that last time we were... Well... Again, you know, everything is energy, Uh and even uh, matter is a more dense form of energy. So our bodies are actually energetic receptors. So the best tool to use to deflect and change energy is our own physical bodies. The thing is, is we haven't been taught the tools growing up. Mm -hmm. And I think we're, we've become very disconnected from like what our bodies are really capable of. Um, so for me, with with the uh, with the wellness program that I do, that's actually the main goal of um, you know all the services is to really get a person in touch with you know how powerful your body is and how your body can heal itself and also deflect anything harmful, negative, whether it's ke- chemicals or um, you radiation. know electromagnetic frequencies, radiation. Radiation now is a huge problem. Mm-hmm. The radiation levels are very, very high, especially in California, and no one's really talking about it. It's all it's all on the food sources. I don't I don't hear anybody talking about it. Well except on our show. <laughs> yeah, Everyone talks right. about it, but yeah. very okay, yeah. well that well that's that's good. But in but, the mainstream media, no. Yeah. I mean, even the diet, the, the nutrition things, yes, it's good to, you know, to be healthy. But the reason why I focus a lot on nutrition is to be able to get your body into a certain frequency so that you can deter and shift these negative things that we're constantly bombarded with. And then not only that, to be able to, um, you know, guide the energy into the direction that you want, you know, your life purpose or, you know. Because food really can, it seems like it can do that. Um, Absolutely. It can change the frequency, open your mind. Absolutely. It can really do that. That's kind of the first place to start, you Uh know? I mean, because there are um, a lot of healing tools that I teach that people can do on on their own, through a lot of it through the yoga, Uh where you can change these frequencies. But if you're... If your pituitary <laughs> gland is calcified by fluoride, it's going to be so difficult to really, right. you know, utilize these. The tools will still work, but, you know, through diet, through cleansing the body, your bo- you'll open your body up to be able to use these tools to a much higher uh, level. Yeah, and that's happening a lot, especially in, in the water. You know, recently um, we've, you know, have that, our Berkey water filter and, and filter all our water, f- mm-hmm. you know, for the fluoride. We have that 
um, a separate attachment on there. But um, it's funny because, you know, how you go through life, you know, being as as aware as I try to be, mm-hmm. I still, I found myself a couple of weeks ago brushing my teeth <laughs> with the water that just comes out of the tap. Yep. I'm thinking, what am I doing? Yeah, even though you weren't swallowing it, you think I well, wasn't swallowing you know, it, but, but I was still just, putting it in your mouth. It's so it's I mean, it's so difficult to be able to avoid, you know, mm-hmm. the GMOs, the pesticides, the you know, the the trans fatty ad, like all, all the things that are. It's it's like you have to live as a you have to live as a hermit. Yeah. So it's good to be really conscious and do the best that you can, yeah. but then have tools that counter that counterbalance those things. Mm-hmm. And a lot of it is really your state of mind. I mm-hmm. mean, that's that in the, in the Vedas and in all the ancient texts with healing, there be like eventually you want to become come to a point in your consciousness that you can you know drink a whole bottle of whiskey and it's not going to affect you. Yeah. Wow. Not, not yeah. that I'm promoting yeah. that, <laughs> but well, I, I mean, I don't know. It sounds good to me. <laughs> I was a little depressed. Last you know what I mean? Or <laughs> or you know do. Do things that are, you know, considered toxic for your body and be able to overcome them. That's mm-hmm. actually the the highest form of, um, of the, health of health and healing practice. But to reach that state, you kind of have to start, you know, with with start uh, with some sort of dietary protocol. Start, start with the basics and and know what that does and how that affects you. But I think a lot of times I see in our field a lot of people get really extreme. Mm-hmm. With the, you know, I see it actually a lot in the raw food uh, yeah. movement, and that's really something I completely, you know, avoid. I don't really want to be put in that category because right. I work alongside with, you know, people's lifestyles who go out to to business dinners and have like wines and, and things yeah. like that. And you can do that in in a healthy way. And I'm not I'm not against it. I have pizza every once in a while mm-hmm. to myself, you know. Yeah. So I don't mm. I'm not into um, extreme practices because they're not sustainable. You know, it's funny um, what you're talking about, the um, state of mind and all that stuff. It's interesting because remember when we were dating, Kate, you would say to me... Um, we dated? <laughs> yeah. Who I am I? How am I here? <laughs> no, but we we're, were dating and I remember you were saying, you're making a joke because I think, I think it was something that your mom would, would joke with you or, or say <laughs> as a truth, but you were making a joke out of it. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> and she was talking about how ice cream is good for you because it has calcium in it <laughs> and that kind of thing. And just that's, having that's but funny if you're gonna eat it you might as well believe it's good for you right i think that's a big that's I think a huge that's, thing i think that's a big part of it i think having a that's actually uh, that's a whole nother topic mm-hmm. um what thinking positively and positive affirmations are amazing mm-hmm. but it's only 10 percent of your brain mm-hmm. the other 90 percent is actually subconscious hence all the circumstances that happen in our life come from that subconscious part of the brain Mm -hmm. like a lot of people will be like well i'm thinking positive i'm doing my positive you know affirmations and this situation is still not shifting Mm -hmm. well that's because a lot of it is um subconscious subconscious yeah Mm -hmm. whoa so yeah so how do we how does someone go about navigating that yeah how do they there are a lot of tools out there now for that and those are some of the things that i actually uh, teach within my uh program okay you want to be able to um, tap into that part of the brain without getting lost into it. So where it's just, it's kind of, um, secondhand nature that you're going to react, you know, in situations in your life in a positive manner, that it's going to direct you into the direction that you want versus finding yourself in the direction that you don't want. So kind of how we were talking when you were working on Justin and I was observing it because it was, it was beautiful. It was like watching a dance though. It felt very (laughs) artistic the way you were feeling and moving, but I know we I, uh, we had some conversation, I think, at the beginning, and I said, uh, you know, what's up with this past life regression thing? And you said, people have to be really careful. I think I'm getting this right. Mm-hmm, I think it was mm-hmm. us having this conversation. Yes, it was. Uh, yeah, people have to be very careful also not to get sucked so much so into the mm-hmm. past and this, because you could dig forever, and if you get probably too far down that road, right. you're not going to be able to be in that 10th. Ten- percent space where you want to well you want to be you want to be in the present moment and i think that's the challenge and you hear this so much with a lot of the spiritual literature and and um you know these uh um spokespeople for you know living consciously and awakening Mm -hmm. um you want to be in the present. You don't really want to get stuck in your story. You know, yeah. that's the thing when I have clients and I'm coaching them, they want, they just get into the story and I make sure, okay, 
that story is it's just a movie uh-huh. and let's focus on really what's behind that story what is triggering what's what's the tape recorder that you have in your mind that keeps right. playing these stories kind of a broken tape isn't it right, or, kind of a broken tape exactly we need to re- re-record probably but, but a lot of that work is done subtly and subconsciously you know and it's not something you have to go and overanalyze cuz cuz i think it's more about we're kind of at a time in our life where we're hit, we're bombarded with so much information Mm -hmm. that you really just, you have to go, you have to develop your intuition. Mm -hmm. You can't sit and analyze everything because then you're going to miss the whole point. Yeah, that is true. In in our culture, that's a big thing. It's just like a male dominated right brain sort of mental focus and all Mm -hmm. that. And you don't listen to your gut, really, your intuition. So is that where this, can you explain to me with this kundalini <laughs> awakening yoga? I've heard it, I've heard about it for years. I do not understand it. Okay. Can you, because that I'm sure is, is leading into this topic about how people can get in touch with their y- yes. place in them, their intuition and things. The, ku- the kundalini yoga that I have um, studied, practiced and taught is from um, Yogi Bhajan. Okay. And um, Yogi Bhajan was an amazing, amazing man. He brought Kundalini Yoga here in 1969 to the United States. And before that, it was kept a hidden secret, and it was like the yoga for the royals. Could you imagine if in the 60s, during the flower power, if they had that too? <laughs> oh, my they'd gosh. They'd be off on cloud nine. Oh, well, it would they have did. been even worse. Yeah, that's actually who he. <laughs> or better. Um, yeah. That's actually who he targeted. A lot of the the flower power children, the kid, the, you know, the 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 people that were into LSD, and uh-huh. but he was like these people to be high and in that state is actually your natural birthright. But the way and the means that they're <clears> doing it is very dangerous and, and and toxic, and you can really lose yourself in those uh, engaging in those practices. So he was like these this t- these tools are really what they're grasping for us but it was kept hidden and secret for thousands and thousands of years and every time someone would try to get it out in the open within a year that person would die either they were like you know, executed, knocked off, executed or... knocked off wow. or assassined assassin but yogi bhajan was actually successful in doing that um, however since he's passed away i believe it's maybe been about eight or ten years since he's passed away the organization hasn't been um, – it's just changed a lot. I uh-huh. think it's kind of become – it's kind of gotten away from really what the principles of Yogi Bhajan meant it for. Really? And I, um, I myself and, and many other students have really um, – decided we're going to just keep this fairly in a pure form it's not really a religion i think a lot of the people within that community teach it as a religious for for me i i don't teach kundalini yoga as a religion i don't really teach it in the traditional way that it's taught right now through a lot of the um the the schools as far as like you know telling people you have to you know stop eating meat you have to wear a turban like i think it's just too restrictive is that what they is that kind of the typical the way they it's not it's about taught. kundalini yoga but i think it's the people around that that kind of you know it's i think it's just human nature people will want to c- create like a religion or mm-hmm. a, fun- a ritual yeah, we're trying to push something. The and that is not really what the ter- the tool is for for breaking out of the box really yeah. for being self-aware for being your own you know your own master your own healer your uh-huh. own you know d- d- director of your universe uh-huh. and so i've just really work to keep it as close to that as possible and so when i teach kundalini yoga i tell people i'm teaching this as a technology it's not it's a science it's really a science it's a human science it's one of the, it's the oldest form of yoga it's the it's it has been been there before even religion was created wow so it was thousands of years how does it compare thousands. to y- the yoga classes we go to we go to a bikram class you do <laughs> yoga yeah. does, how does it look i mean just like so people can get a picture um are you doing this these p- poses and yet you're connecting on a different level or are you opening yourself up yes. more in a meditation way or you well here's breathing? the thing i have in my uh, database thousands and thousands and thousands of exercises and meditations and breathing exercises and um and mantras and things that i work with and um so every class is completely completely different and it's really geared towards who, who's ever whatever frequencies are in the room and a lot of it is geared towards breathing and of course we're working on the nervous system 
And as well as working on the nervous system, we work with the energy meridians, which are prananadis that run parallel to the nervous system, which actually, that's what really powers your, your, your human body, what is are your, they your energy system. Prananadis. Prananadis. And prana means... Um, and life force. Or? Life force. Life force. It's prana is when you breathe in air. Uh-huh. And uh, the nadis are just like the little energy um, grids. And, and so they, are, they run with the... They run parallel the to the nervous system. system. Nervous system. So actually when I was working on you, Uh-oh. yes, I'm working... <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> I was working the nervous system, but really we're working a lot more like the, the energy meridians as well. And so when someone does kundalini... This is what's sort of being activated or yes. worked on, if you can say Every, that? Actually, everything is being worked on. You have like 11 bodies. You don't have one body. Mm-hmm. You have a soul body. You have a pranic body. You have an auric body. You have um, a, a, a subtle body. There's, there's, it's, it's, pretty, it's, a, it's a whole science, and, and it's, um, it's very intricate. So you're working on every single part of you, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and... It just kind of, it just guides you through life to basically, because every, you know, every person's here to learn and grow and evolve. That's mm-hmm. really what we're on this planet for. So you get to shed all the things and all the obstacles, whether it's something you grew up with or it's something, you know, from a past life, if you believe in that. Uh-huh. Um, and it just <clears throat> brings you more towards your purpose in life, which is to, you know, be connected with your, with your source and be on this planet. Wow. Are they? Does it work in a way that we hear about activating your chakras or getting those spinning or something like that? Um, if we believe in chakras, and we, I think there's good reason for us to believe there is something of that system going mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. Um, does that say like when when we're getting them spinning and working? Is that supposing that people have ones that aren't working? And is that the same with the? prana nadas where you well, can see, activate them and they actually start working for the first time i don't when i do you know like energy work quantum healing i don't really go and be like well this chakras should be closed or this should, you know i just kind of let the energy come in and just self-adjust the body i really try to get out of it as much as possible i think again we get stuck in over analyzing things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. instead of being in the flow of life and if you're in the flow of life and you're you're you know showing up for yourself every day, whether it's whatever, juicing or doing your meditation or treating people kindly, however that looks for the individual, um, that is what's going to get your whole body in synergy. And that's what's going to get your circumstances and situations outside of you in, in synergy and with less, with no effort. I don't think, I think sometimes we really overthink and overdo. Mm. That's big in our culture. <laughs> yeah, and that's so and good overdoing. to hear. Doesn't it just hearing that make you go, okay, oh, we don't have to hold it all together. To. I can let go a little bit. <laughs> we can bit. let go. Exactly. Mm-hmm. This is awesome stuff. We're going to take a little break. We're with Mary Atala and her website if you're interested. Mary Atala, A-T-T-A-L-L-A, two T's, two L's, maryatala.com. And this is episode 366. Can I mention too, she also has a 1-888 number oh, nice. for people who are interested in working with her. You can also email her through her website that we just gave out. But she does have a 1-800 number, but it's one 888 Three four zero three six seven two, and you guys feel free to call that and uh, get in touch with. And that's that operational. Well. It sure is awesome. It's, 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 <laughs> awesome. That's good. That's good. Okay, we're gonna be right back right after this break. Kate and I have had our sauna for about a year now. I'd say uh, when we first got it from Phil Wilson, and it's an incredible machine. We use ours about every single day. Kate sits in about twenty minutes, and I sit in there about for a half hour. Usually watch a documentary, and it's extremely relaxing. It's really, really incredible machine. And if you go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash sauna, you can learn all about it. We did an entire hour interview with Phil Wilson. You can check that out. You can look at the pictures of us with it. You can watch videos on that page. Uh, It helps you to sleep really, really well. You can lose a lot of weight with it. You can burn, I think, around 600 calories in about 20 minutes or so. It improves your skin increases circulation all over the body and circulation is critical for your health Uh, you can prevent and reverse diseases with it if you have a cold or flu it's incredible it heats you down to the core it heats four to six inches inside your body so it's really incredible and a lot of people use it for cancer as well so if you have any kind of incurable quote disease you can use it for that and dr shade is the uh, foremost authority on detoxification and listen to what he says about it. 
how do I detoxify from plastics? I mean, you guys are using a sauna, and what does a sauna do for us? A sauna is great, but it's moving a number of different toxins. Remember, we talked about the mice that if you put PCBs in there, then that made the mercury all that much worse. And sweating moves out a lot of plastics, volatiles, fat-based toxins. It's really good at moving those out, sweating those out. So that's how you're getting those out. And those are contributing to this synergistic soup inside the body. And so that's why they're good is they're taking out a, a bunch of the different things in the soup. And Daniel Vitalis, one of our favorite guests, what do you have to say about the sauna? When you go into the sauna, like a far infrared sauna like you discussed, your body goes into a deep relaxation mode and your sympathetic nervous system shuts down and your parasympathetic nervous system turns on. And when that's active, that's the nervous system, part of your nervous system that's active when you meditate. That becomes active and your detoxification pathways open up wide. Why is this important? It's important because when you go running and you sweat, you're not necessarily eliminating very much toxicity from your body. Hmm. But when you sweat in the sauna, you eliminate a lot of toxicity from your body. So sweating in a relaxed state is how we eliminate. The other thing is that what's wonderful about the, the sauna is that it puts you in a parasympathetic nervous system response like as if you were meditating. So it's almost a hack. It's like a trick to get yourself into a meditative, relaxed state to decompress stress, to reverse the effects of stress, and to get your body eliminating deep, deep toxicity that's stored in your body fat because it can come out in the oils of your skin. So I think you know sauna is one of the most crucial detoxification, really health practices that we could take on, especially in this era of heavy toxicity, uh, particularly fat-soluble toxins. The sauna is really, really great. They offer payment plans because if you buy it through PayPal, it's 100% secure. You don't even need a PayPal account. I think you could do a payment plan through PayPal. It's got low EMF electromagnetic fields coming off of it. It's portable, so that means you don't have to knock down a wall in your house. You can just move it from room to room. It sets up in about two to five minutes. It's super easy to clean. All you got to do is wipe it down when you're done, wipe the neck down, and it produces energy and heat inside very, very evenly throughout the whole machine. All you have to do is sit in there for about 15 minutes a day. And the great thing I like about it too is it requires zero preheating. So you turn it on and you're starting to get warm and you're starting to detoxify with that far infrared light almost immediately. So it's really great. It comes with a one year warranty. It's about $990 plus $25 shipping. And that's really, really a good deal because if you look at most of the regular saunas out there, they are in the two to $4,000 range. So this is really, really a good deal. So check it out, extremehealthradio.com forward slash sauna. Free, 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 all free shows all the time on Extreme Health Radio. Opening minds and transforming lives worldwide. Join our community today. Sign up to our email list and instantly get our free gift to you, along with loads of inspirational content and cutting-edge tips to help change your life. At ExtremeHealthRadio.com slash subscribe. So Mary, I was going to ask you, did you, uh, you mentioned the sauna when you first came in. Um, do you do sauna regularly? I do actually. I yeah. do. I love, I love far infrared. I actually have a infrared mat that I usually lie on regularly oh, really? and I use it anytime I'm feeling run down or I'm feeling sick because it actually helps to boost your immune system. What kind of mat is that? Oh my goodness. I have so many <laughs> tools. So tools. Fun, I can't even remember what it's called. <laughs> it's the it's those amethyst infrared mats. Uh -huh. I totally forgot what it's called. But is I, it those the bio mats? mats? Yes, it's a bio mat. Okay, That's yes. we have one too. Yeah, those love are it. fun, aren't they? Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, bring those crystals that, in. That thing knocks me into another world. <laughs> I feel like I'm out of my body in like the most amazing way. I just it's really nice. It's like being on a different planet. I it, it. Yeah, it, I think it helps to it helps to kind of rewire your um, your nervous system too. Yeah. What do you I, think about I the agree. crystals? We have those those little uh, a little amethyst on the desk there. Um, they seem like I mean, people are really into the crystals, aren't they? You know, it's. Do you like them or? I've dabbled with them a little, but never. 
Really? You Not know, too much? Well, because you, again, like I said, a human body is like a crystal, you know, mm-hmm. so you don't, you can use them as tools, but I've never really worked with them extensively. We have our own energy center. We have our I own know, energy right? center, yes. And our own uh, healing capacities and capabilities. That's exactly. true. I'm just well, you just sold me on Kundalini Yoga. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right? <great. laughs> so you teach great. that every week? Or I am that? actually, um, I'm working with people privately. I do um, Skype sessions. Uh-huh. I'm actually taking my wellness program uh, global this year. So nice. people, what does that look like? Well, people who want to uh, work with me, whether it's like a customized, uh, you know, nutrition program or herbal herbs or herbology or yoga can, you know, call in and we do a whole customized program. I will also be offering um, luxury destination retreats. So oh. I'm excited. I think uh, our first one's probably going to be in Bali. So oh, good. Going for the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting for the mo- Oh, that's crazy. That's so fun. So we are um, really, really excited about it. There's a There's a lot happening. But do you know around what time of the year you're thinking about doing this, the first one? Um, you know, I'm not sure because I'm, I'm right now I'm in the middle of – doing all the branding and the marketing and the logo and the website, all this stuff that's just whew, really over my head. But I have an amazing team that I'm working with. So as soon as we have the whole picture put together, I think we'll start to reach out and put Post a date. It all over the yes. site and people See can you. check it out and stay up to date with you. But I am, I am taking anyone who's interested you know, feel free to, you know, to call in, um, through the 800 number on the website and, uh, we'll just take requests if people actually have a specific time they want. Cause I'm taking a small group. It probably wouldn't be more than 21 people to, oh. to Bali, to Bali. And then how long would that be? One week. Mm. How fun. Yes. Have you been to Bali? I have not, but my, uh, my business associate, she has her business partner there and my girlfriend's living there. So they, they're Bali. handling all the, all the details. It's oh, going to be amazing. like a, lo- a luxury, uh, luxury retreat. Yeah, I've been to Indonesia and when I was in Indonesia, Jakarta, everyone said, Oh, you gotta go to Bali. It's you gotta amazing. go to Bali. It's yeah. like Bali's. That's what, that's what everybody Every other says. word was Bali. Yeah. Wow. That yeah. it's, it's renowned for healing retreats. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow. I have a friend who lives over there right now, actually. And- Do you? Yeah, she posts about 15 times a day. And my mouth's always <laughs> just like hitting the floor. So I'm like, good night. Yeah. I know, it's so it's amazing. So, it's She's, so she goes, she teaches yoga over there and um, surfs and hangs out with her dogs on the beach. So oh, man. pretty amazing. So people, oh, but yeah. as, uh, as far, as far as going back on the subject, I think I might end up, um, maybe doing like an online course, really? you know, maybe cause I, there's so many people that, that want it and, it's hard to just, if I just do it here locally, there's, you know, a lot of people will miss out on it. So maybe at some point we could probably do like a, a web class or something. That would be really cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what kinds of stuff do you think would be in there? Like I said, I, I have thousands and thousands of pages archived. So what do you guys want to work on? Yeah. Well, that would be <laughs> pre- pretty cool. You can pull your audience and find out what they want mm-hmm. and then customize mm-hmm. it. Do yep. a class. Yep. How fun. But it'd be, I think the target thing right now that would be good to work on is, um, how to change the radiation into healing energy. Mm. I think that's, I, cause I'm noticing more and more a lot of people are coming to me with a lot of unexplained health issues or that cold that just won't go away. And I, I just, I think it has a lot to do with radiation levels. Have we, have we heard anything? Do we know what the levels are around here? It's pretty high, isn't it? Weren't you saying you read something recently where they're, the, uh, the seals off the coast, they're finding yeah. high levels? Yeah, they were, even at our own power plant, our lovely oh, power sure. station, there was animals <laughs> um, washing up and they were actually oh cutting goodness. them and putting the meters in them. Ooh. And it was it was not pretty. I can't give you an exact number, but they were also uh, slicing open the seaweed and testing that and they it were off, off the charts. And that's funny because seaweed is actually, well, it's not funny, but seaweed <laughs> is what's used to break down Radiation. So that's probably why it's high. It's collecting it, right? It could be, it's probably collecting it. But the fact that it's so high in radiation, it means it's Whoa. we're oversaturated to where sure. it's not even able to defend. But it off. I've always looked. I mean, I've because of the I've been through some really severe health issues, and I've just always looked at it as a blessing. There's always a gift mm-hmm. in every negative situation, and there's actually. <laughs> A meditation that I would like to um, eventually uh, teach out to the public, which turns radiation into healing energy. Wow. So, so you can harness it in a way? And, yes. Wow, use it to propel you? Same, And it does the same thing with EMF. 
So that's like a meditation people could do. Yes. You need to be doing it 24 hours because you sit right under this, this <laughs> EMF some. pole above your head all day. No, I know. You, you don't even need to do it that long. Oh my just gosh. Just little, because your body, everything's frequency and we can work with these things and turn it, turn it around. So, wow. well, so if people want to co- contact you, you can, as, as far as working with them, you yes. can show them these things. Oh, absolutely. Them? How cool is that? And I always, I'm going to show it to you. I want you to show others. Yeah, <laughs> okay. definitely, right? Share, share it. Share it. Will, it will it'll change the vibration of the planet, actually. The more people that do it. Yeah, I was watching something on um, online the other day, and there's this uh, former UFC fighter who's retired, but he's from Japan. Mm-hmm. And um, he goes back to Japan. I think he lives here now, but he goes back to Japan to work with uh, the radiation victims and things. Wow. And he, t- he took a, a, I think a Gauss meter or Geiger was, counter, a Geiger counter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he said it was the, the most intense thing because he would be walking around and he would have his Geiger counter off and everything. It was just, everything was normal. There's nothing different about the environment. Turn his Geiger counter on. It just spiked. Oh, I'm sure. It was off I'm the sure. charts. And it was like the, it was just the most, weird situation because you don't feel you, you don't, don't see, feel radiation no you see it it's this that's the scary part because it causes birth deformities tumors cysts i mean it's it's very scary it breaks down your immune system Mex- messes up your thyroid too right it messes everything up and like then from that everything hormones go wacky. Everything, everything so is this something that's already been you've figured out how to do it successfully and you use it already as a tool well, or are here, you kind of in the yes works? i've i've actually i used it I was actually using it way before the whole Fukushima <laughs> incident. Really? <Wow. laughs> yes. It was needed then. Yogi Bhajan was amazing because <laughs> he actually predicted years ago, maybe 20, 30 years ago, that we were going to have major issues with radiation. And, and um, he gave all these tools out so that we would be prepared. He actually gave out enough tools and te- yogic tools and technology for the next seven generations. So wow. we have access to stuff that even when you when you do it, you don't, you're really working on the future generations. You don't even know what you have in your hand. It's very, 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 very powerful, very ancient. So these are technology. things that you you've been able to learn or archive or whatever. I have our. I actually was. I don't know. How, I don't know how it happened, but it all. A lot of this stuff dumped in my lap, and I'm working on a big archiving project. I think I have twelve thousand pages so far. <laughs> so I'm never going to be able to use it all, but it's nice. To have, nice to have, oh my right? gosh! To pass it, to keep passing it on. So a lot of us are actually working to to archive and keep the the um, these exercises and these tools um, so that they're untainted and they continuously get passed down. They're beautiful. I mean, I think it was. I don't. Th- I think without the practice, I don't think I'd still be here. Wow, it's very oh powerful. You know what's cool about that too is that you're. Because like a lot of these tools, we have the sauna, the biomat, and all these different rebounder things, and they're fun, but they're they're sort of adjuncts to your own subconscious mind, to your own exactly f- vibrational frequency, you know, and and so it's cool that you're teaching people how to sort of alter and and manipulate that part of them to not be reliant. Because we tell people all the time, the the tools are great, the sauna, all this stuff is great, but it's something still outside of you, exactly. And yeah. I I just to clarify, I don't really promote people altering or manipulating things no, in right, their right. body. I, I, I kind of, it's just more balancing the body so that mm-hmm. I can do what it needs to do without, you know, with efficiency, without you really having to, to, to think about it. And, to, and doing it yourself instead of relying on some outside tool. I'm very big on being self-reliant. Yeah, that's a big one, isn't it? <laughs> it, it is, and I, I, I want to see more people really teach that because we are, you know, we're in the Aquarian time uh-huh. and it's all about, you know, it's not about hoarding. It's about showing people the way, giving mm-hmm. and showing and just kind of getting away from that whole, you know, patriarchal um, paradigm. Yeah. That's what it's, it's funny, too, because, you know, sometimes you don't like to be without the laser, you know, the laser we have. <laughs> she, she doesn't want to be without it. And it's like, <laughs> But it's great that I've realized that. And I, you know, I went on a trip a couple months ago where I left it with you because you hurt was, your back. Yeah, that was cool. And Shocking. I thought I was forced to not take it. And I thought, this is good. I need to not be reliant on these things. Mm-hmm. Everything I need is within me. Now it's harnessing and figuring out um, how to use them appropriately and get the same effects. Yeah. And I think the tools are there to show you this is what your body can do. It's just kind of there to create like the neurological mm-hmm pathway i agree mm-hmm. with that yeah, yeah I, I totally agree with that i often say on on the show we're we're horrible sales because we you know support ourselves through the the selling of these tools but i tell people all the time you don't you need, don't need the tools, them you know? <laughs> so it's bad it's a bad combination right. well, but, uh, 
but it's perfect good, combination. You know what? Some it's people good. need that. You know what I mean? Like when you're starting from scratch or you have something chronic, you need something to show you like a pathway. But then you don't want to get dependent on that. That's so, it. you know, you need you if you break your leg, you need crutches, mm-hmm. but you don't want to get dependent on them. So the tools are necessary, but just don't get, you know, stuck on them. And realizing <laughs> you can't be healthy without them. Exactly. Like that. Yeah. Because exactly. in, in essence, it's um, it's no different than relying on just a regular medical doctor, you know, to tell you if you're healthy or not or give you some sort of diagnosis. It's looking to that doctor as, as the person who's going to do the healing is similar to looking to a sauna to make, you know saying that's going to do the healing mm-hmm. it's the same thing or um, same thing even going to a healer like when people come to me i don't want you to look at me like i'm doing the healing for you i'm right. just i'm holding the space and i'm facilitating your own you know body your own awakening your own understanding so that you can do that for your for yourself you're just kind of giving them this like this frame of of reference yeah you're teaching a man to fish exactly mm-hmm. i like that exactly all right so if people want to contact you they're available or you're available through skype too which is cool right yes and is that if, if they want to contact you is your skype contacts on your website or they can you know find what? I, well i will add that on um okay i will add that on today and they can contact you through your 800 number what is that kate it is one eight 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 three four zero three six seven two. I like that. Great. MaryAtala.com, A-T-T-A-L-L-A. Yes. Awesome stuff. This We're going to have to do this again. Pleasure. Yeah, I would, I'd, I'd love to come back. This You're welcome good. anytime. <laughs> good, good stuff. All right, so thank you everybody for joining us, especially in the chat room, the live listeners. We really appreciate that. Like I said before, we do do shows every Friday. This week's a little different. So this Friday, we're not going to have a show. But uh, next for the next, I think, three Mondays, there's going to be a Monday show. And then we're going to go back to Friday. <laughs> so just, you know, what the best way to do is st- sign up to our just newsletter list exactly. or, stay, or stay up to date on Facebook or whatever. And that way you'll get um, updates of all of our shows. That way it's not confusing. But we will settle down in the future. Yeah, we'll get back to normal on Fridays. <laughs> we're stirring the pot a bit. 9 a.m. So those shows are extremehealthradio.com slash live, typically at 9 a.m. Pacific time if you would like to join us. And then afterwards, they're archived and as a podcast. So they're always available for your listening. And you can check those out at any time you'd like. And if you guys would be so kind, another way that you could support us is if you make regular purchases on Amazon, we're having a lot of people do this recently, is to go to extremehealthradio.com slash Amazon, bookmark that link, Mm -hmm. and then use that link anytime you make a purchase. It doesn't have to be health-related. And you can support the show that way. Um, it's really been helpful for us lately. So and we as well that. as possibly, please consider leaving us an iTunes review. Oh, yes. That is huge for us as well. And uh, share the show always with your friends and family. We appreciate uh, that. It's great. Thank you, guys. All right. So this was episode 366. And we'll put links in extremehealthradio.com forward slash 366. And you can check out all, everything that uh, we talked about and get all the links to everything that we mentioned on the show today at that link. So we appreciate it so much, especially the live listeners. We appreciate you, and we'll catch you next Monday. Thanks for listening. All right, we just walked Mary downstairs. She's off and running now. That was a fun show, wasn't it? Oh, my gosh. That was cool. Yeah, I keep saying this, that everyone's my favorite show, but that really was one of my very favorite shows. I loved it. Yeah, she was really fun. I liked her a lot. Really cool. Into real, some really good stuff. We've got a bunch of ideas to share with you. We're going to take a little bit of a break right now, and we'll be right back and uh, talk about what she had to say. Cool. We'll be right back. I have been a huge fan of rebounding for many, many years. And if you want to get in great cardiovascular shape, tone your legs, back and butt and stomach, as well as cleanse your lymphatic system from toxins and chemicals, you just have to start rebounding. It's imperative. And not only will it create endorphins that quickly become addictive to you, but it's very low impact as well. It helps to prevent sicknesses and diseases as well as increase bone density and it flushes toxins from your lymphatic system. It's amazing. And not only that, but it's a ton of fun also. I do it every single day for about 15 minutes. And we found the best rebounder on the market today in the world bar none. It's called the Bellicon Rebounder. It's the Rolls Royce of rebounders in my opinion. And let's listen to some of what our guests have had to say about rebounding. Robert von Sarbacher is a health researcher and creator of the Mini B protocol. And Robert, what's your favorite exercise? Uh, in general, uh, okay, probably one of the number one anti-aging exercises on the planet is is uh, rebounding. 
so 15 minutes a day is good for, for that. You can find people who uh, have had thermography scans on cancers, uh, giant tumors, and when they're doing a um, rebounder, it would start spewing out and shrinking right in front of your eyes, the tumor would, as they're on the rebounder. So it's really good for that sort of thing. It's also very good for exercising internal organs. It's the only internal organ exerciser that I know of known to man. Dr. Lindsay Duncan is the CEO and founder of Genesis Today. And what's the best way that you think of to stimulate the lymphatic system of the body? Rebounding is incredible because it's good for the lymphatic system and there's more lymph fluid in the body than there is blood. And the quickest way and the most effective way to get the lymphatic system flowing is through rebounding itself. Yeah, because the lymphatic system can't really detox itself, can it? I think you know. No, the heart, we have the heart, thank you, for pumping blood. And we don't have a heart to pump lymphatic fluid. The only thing that really can pump lymphatic fluid is cardiovascular exercise utilizing the thighs, the thigh muscles. And that's why rebounding and getting a burn in that thigh muscle is so important for the flow and the stimulation of the lymphatic fluid. Wow, and they even put cancer patients on rebounding, don't they? Nutritionists do. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but not a conventional doctor. But yeah, I've been learning about rebounding lately. It's quite an amazing thing. Yeah, rebounding's amazing. Health researcher and author of Cancer Step Outside the Box, Ty Bollinger. What do you do in your life to prevent cancer? What do you do to treat cancer? What do you do to prevent it? Rebounding is something that I try to do on a daily basis, Mm -hmm. Uh, a little mini trampoline for those people that aren't familiar with the term rebounding, but it's basically just jumping up and down on that little mini tramp. Mm -hmm. What that does is it stimulates the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system is one of our primary detoxification systems in our body, and most folks don't stimulate their lymph flow, and so the toxicity in their body builds up because their lymph is not stimulated, and the up-down motion on a rebounder stimulates the lymph flow better than just about any other exercise. So I do that almost uh, almost on a daily, probably five days a week, I would say I average doing that. And finally, author and speaker and creator of the Longevity Now program, David Wolf. Do you think the Bellicon is the best rebounder on the market today? Absolutely. I, I was just with the crew in Europe that does the Bellicon rebounder, which is an incredible rebounder. My God, what a machine. Mm-hmm. And it's, it doesn't use metal springs. It uses like flexi ropes so it's very soft and fun and it's just great to play with well there you have it the up and down g-force actually stimulates every single cell in your body it's incredible and as someone who works out in the gym a lot and does qigong i think that the best physical aerobic exercise in my opinion is rebounding it's just absolutely incredible for the human body and the bellicon is silent and it comes with a warranty And you can get them in several different sizes and colors. And some of them have bars that you can hold on to in case you're worried about balance. It's a well worth it investment in your health and in your future. So check them out in our store if you'd like. Or you can check out the videos on ExtremeHealthRadio.com forward slash Bellicon. Again, that's ExtremeHealthRadio.com forward slash Bellicon. That's B as in boy, E-L-L-I-C-O-N. Opening minds and transforming lives worldwide. Join our community today. Sign up to our email list and instantly get our free gift to you, along with loads of inspirational content and cutting-edge tips to help change your life. At ExtremeHealthRadio.com slash subscribe. So, we just learned how to do a little probiotic drink, didn't we? Probiotic drink and probiotic something else. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> if you want to use it for a... Uh, oh, an implant. An implant as well. Up the booty. Up the booty after maybe... Um, a colonic? Sure. I That's what say, she said, right? Yeah, after a colonic or a... Uh, I think it, I, I def- Did she say that you should do them after, especially after coffee enemas as well? Yeah. Anything that you're kind of depleting, what's what's up in there? Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds really interesting, doesn't it? Mary knows a lot about. I love Mary because she's the perfect balance between uh, 
physical and spiritual. And I love how she has a way of, uh, obviously, just the gift to of putting it all together. But yeah. I love that she gave us practical tips about, hey, here's a really good probiotic thing to do. Uh huh. But then again, it's like, yeah, you could also, you know, go more inside in the spiritual realm and, and get healing that way too. So I just really, really enjoyed that show. So the recipe, we'll share the recipe online that we that we do, but basically involves buying a bunch of coconuts and doing like like a, a coconut water kefir. But it's very specific with this. What is it called? The um. The ingredients you need to put in there. Yeah, there's two different things, right? So you get the fresh Thai coconuts, a whole a whole box of them, right? Uh-huh. So a whole. Do you call it a box of a case? A case. There you go. And something called Inner Eco. Uh huh. And then something called uh, the certain kind of flora. Okay. And they don't have it right offhand, but. <clears throat> and then yeah, we're gonna make that and see. We can do a video on that and show how we do it for the first time too. How to make coconut water kefir? Mm-hmm. That would be good. Yeah. Well, don't you think? Yeah, I really like what she said. How um, how excited are you to start doing a Kundalini yoga? I does that sound interesting to you? Yeah, because I've always heard of it. I'm still not sure though. Um, now that I think about it, if um, I know she said it's a series and a sequences and it looks different every time, but is it actually yoga? Like, are you doing yoga? Po- I'm sure, assuming since it's called yoga, you're doing poses and things. But I think you are doing yoga poses. I'm wondering, I'm wondering but it, if it's real rigorous or if it's just more like you're in a pose for a long time, kind of like the yin. It involves um, specific breathing exercises. Oh, you know that to be true? Yeah. Ah. And um, there's certain breathing exercises to, to help tap into your lower core energies. I'm not sure exactly what, but it sounds really interesting. I'm I'm all game. Do you want to try it too? Yeah, that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. I could yeah. uh, write about that. I could uh, blog about it too. What if any of the listeners have done kundalini yoga? I bet you a lot of listeners have. I bet a lot, yeah. Yeah. I've heard about it for a long time. I just didn't know really what that all looked like. Yeah. Yeah, it seems seems pretty interesting. Would you gain like the most from that or walking away with what sticks out to you? Well, it's interesting what she talked about, how you can change or transmute the energy um, of electromagnetic field radiation. Because right now I'm sitting, I've got this apron on covering my my body with... um, this like a silver apron that we got from Les EMF who we ran the commercial for. Um, but it's interesting too, because I, you know, I think the, the energies are high. Um, we're going to get a meter too through Les EMF, but it's just interesting that you can, you can do things to mitigate that. Like mm. that's crazy. Yeah. I'm curious. Sounds pretty interesting. I remember when she first mentioned that when she and I were having coffee <clears throat> or tea a couple weeks ago at a coffee house. And um, she said, yeah, you can actually turn this inner um, negative radiation and harness it. And use it toward your to your good. And I thought, wow. Well, so you don't worry about living by a power plant or um, having Fukushima washed up on our shores. And she's like, no, because you can actually gain so much from it. It's the gift and the tragedy kind of a thing. Hey, what about all that stuff that she was talking about? The mm-hmm. yoga teacher that had some things for nine generations. Remember that she was talking about how they're like he saved yoga some bu- 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 bujin? Bujin? Yeah, yeah. but him? he had um, teachings that were able to be helped. Oh, Help for seven for, for seven, seven generations out. Yeah, well, how that was pretty crazy, wasn't it? See, is that the kind of thing that's downloaded to someone? You know, like, like where does he get that? You again, mean? how does he know that seven generations from now is the magic? Now, I mean, I think that's amazing. But how the heck does anyone go about getting that information? Is it revealed to them, like, and did, in this did mystical they, way? Yeah, do they know like why seven, not eight generations? It's mm. interesting. Makes you wonder. I, I think it's cool. I'm just wondering the details of that. Mm. Right. Yeah, really fascinating stuff. Very. So we found out about found out about her through, like we said on the show, Doctor Bergman, because um, I just recognized her from somewhere, <laughs> and um, and now she's got a practice, and we went to go see her. We're gonna, we'll do some Kundalini yoga with her, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, Really interesting person. Very. She's beautiful. I love it's her. It's cool that she's going to be work, uh, reaching out to a larger audience and stuff like that too. Going global. Going global. <laughs> I like it. It's kind of the thing these days. I know it's kind of a catchphrase, but I think global work is honestly where it's at because if you have these tools and, tools and keys and you keep them to yourself, like she was saying, we're in an, aqu- is it an Aquari- Aquarius oh, age? Aquarius age, yeah. And it's, uh, it is so true that our where we're at right now in the world, keeping these things to ourselves is not helping anything. So right. it's not like you against me or I have information I'm going to hoard up to myself. So I think that she's she's really right on in being a, a really giver back to the world like mm-hmm. a lot of people are and they have this giant gift in there. It's just about exposing 
as many people as possible to it. Right. Um, and not keeping these secrets from each other. Yeah. You know, and then also offering, like, I love how she does that, you know, freely and she gives back and then she also is going to be hosting these lo- very luxury high end retreats where, right. you know, she can also make a living and, and uh, she gives and she also is going to be, I think, the receiver of a lot of things for how much she is giving to the world and offering because she has a lot of gifts. It's cool too that I think that with all the advancements in our t- technology and our, our age and in which we're living, um, there's always solutions that come along with that, you know? Mm. Um, yeah. So there's always ways to mitigate the harmful effects of certain things. And there's always, there's, there are things you can do in your life to implement simple, easy strategies you can implement that help to mitigate all the bad stuff that does come with certain types of living in this modern world. Mm-hmm. And, and that's the cool thing is like to, through Kundalini yoga or some eat, changing your eating practices or doing meditation or bringing some less EMF products in your life or something like that. Um, there, it's cool that you can have these ways of mitigating because if you just attach yourself and just go full on and just do everything that everybody else does, you know, wearing your, your cell phone next to your breast or, you know what I mean? Like right. all these things that people just do without any sort of conscious awareness of, mm-hmm. um, you know, those things are going to catch up to you. Yeah. But it's cool. There's all kinds of options now, you know? We live in the best of times and the worst of times. I mean, really, I'm starting to just think it's the best of times. Like, totally. I was on the I were on a retreat, a spiritual retreat, the last three days with two really good girlfriends of mine, and we just had this amazing time. And I'm going to be blogging about it. But um, we were driving home and going, "Gosh, aren't you just so grateful?" Because we are, you know, we have a lot of issues with the world today, and we are bummed out on a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> just the way things are. But we all three, just driving home along the coast, agreed that like. Thank God we don't live in the 1500s. I mean, we were talking about Joan of Arc and her story. Oh, yeah. What dark times. I mean, there was just these times. And I know that a lot of people would think that these are those dark times. And sure, I mean, there are not great things about this world in the day. But I mean, event, come but, on. The 1500s? Oh, my gosh. I mean. Th- That's gnarly. Yeah. It's man. gnarly. Everything from uh, having to work so hard and beating your body up to such a pulp to having, you know, a lot of death and childbirth. I mean, there was just things that oh, people were, were dying of like, uh, of the simplest things, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A cut, a scrape, and your infection, you get right? staff and you're yeah, done. Exactly. You're checked out. We live know? in an awesome time. We live in an awesome time. Oh man, totally. And you know, I know we were talking about on the show, you don't absolutely need these tools. They're all <clears> complementary <throat> therapies to what's already inside us. But my gosh, I mean, I was driving back from that trip and had the Q laser on my abdomen because I wasn't feeling that great. And I thought, wow. I'm able to heal myself as I drive along in this little pod of a car down, you know, 80, 80 miles an hour down a freeway while I'm lasering my body with light therapy. I mean, I know. It's well, amazing. I looked over and saw a Target and a Starbucks and I thought, wow, we live in a, I mean, actually, I mean, I was actually more excited about it than being turned off to really even a shopping plaza usually, which I hate. I looked over there, but I thought, you know what? If I needed a, an organic apple right now, I could pull off the road and go get one. You get one at Starbucks. Yeah, you're I think right. They have some organic stuff. I think they have some organics. You don't have Pretty to go cool. find a tree. I mean, it was, there's parts of it that I think are just amazing. So, yeah, it is really cool. Um, I want to focus more on that because we are where we are for a reason. We weren't born at a different time because there's a very specific reason that we're supposed to be here right now. Yeah, yeah. So I want to focus on that because I, I do not want to get caught in the trap of thinking that they're was a better time for me to be at. No, this is my world and I'm supposed to be here right now, you know? Yeah, and I think that for us too, it's it's really awesome that we're able to put out this kind of information through a worldwide radio show like this. I mean, we get emails from all over the world and it's really cool because even if we're, you know, doing just 20 or 30 year difference and when we're born, not let alone the 1500s. <laughs> right. But I mean, look at the advances too of the types of food that are available the superfood companies that are coming out and just all kinds of really great stuff. We couldn't do a radio show like this Mm-mm. even 20 years ago, Mm-mm. 10 years ago. Mm-mm. I don't think. I, yeah, I don't you think know, so. In 2005, I don't think it was, it was well, podcasts. Podcasts were like, yeah, you know, who, what? Pod, yeah, people pod what? <laughs> people weren't doing them at all. Um, mm. It's really cool. It's a really great time, I think. I know it's a great time. You know? Yeah. I like being alive. I, I kind of got this. <clears throat> I hated the world last week, you know, Yeah. and this week is more of a, oh my gosh, I had my eyes open and that was a dark week for me, but I I came out of it and I actually feel like the most blessed, lucky person that I had that gift of a bad week to be able to realize what I do have. And Mm -hmm. again and again, I mean, I might have to keep refocusing 
myself back to this place when things get tough. But overall, I mean, what an amazing gift. Oh, yeah. We live in an amazing time. And look at who, look at how we're able to reach. I mean, look at everyone who listens to our show. It, it's pretty amazing. Like, it's so cool, isn't it? Everyone has a different gift to offer. We're all brought together in this community that didn't even exist 10 years ago. I mean, we've, I, we know we've heard stories and we know people specifically that have made connections through our show and mm-hmm. just really help spur each other on with our different giftings. And it's an amazing time to be alive. It's awesome. It's amazing. It, yeah, it's way cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that show, episode 366. That was you a got fun it. show. Mm-hmm. Um, if you guys would be so kind as to um, leave us an iTunes review, that would be awesome. We'd greatly appreciate that. Um, if you go to extremehealthradio.com slash iTunes or just go to iTunes and search Extreme Health Radio, um, all one word, and you'll find us there. And any any review you can leave us would be really helpful. And, um, and also, if you would like to support the show, like I mentioned before, Amazon is a great way to do that. And Patreon is really awesome. I would, if you guys could do that, we would be so appreciative because you can donate even less than a dollar per show. And if all of our listeners were were doing that, it would just help us so much to be able to pay for all the rising costs of the show. And we're determined to do this show for free. We never want to charge for it. Um, and so we need your help. So if you could do that, go to extremehealthradio.com forward slash support, mm. all one word. And then um, there's a video on there and you just sign up. It'll take you less than two minutes on Patreon and you can donate on a per podcast basis. So you could, you know, donate 50 cents, a dollar. We have, uh, you know, someone donating 15 bucks per podcast. <laughs> it's just so helpful. And it may not seem like much, but if all of you did that, it would be incredibly helpful. And we would just be so appreciative of it. And we're going to keep putting out content like this and, and really just amazing cutting edge guests. And we have plans, so many great plans. If you go onto that page, you'll see a video of us. Talking about our goals and yeah, where we, our vision is going, and we really need your help. And what we're planning on doing, and all mm-hmm. kinds of cool stuff. So, extremehealthradio.com slash support, uh, 50 cents an episode, 75 cents an episode, a dollar, two bucks per episode. We do four episodes a month, and so you can always set your monthly maximum so you never go over a certain yeah, amount per month. And it would just be so helpful. So, anyway, I'll put that out there if you guys are interested in doing that. That would be great. We're going to continue making these free shows regardless but if you could do it we would appreciate it a lot so that's about it right <clears throat> that's a wrap that's a wrap mm-hmm. all that's right it. everybody thank you so much for joining us you looking at me for it and we'll catch you on the next episode <laughs> we'll catch you on the next episode bye guys hey everybody this is josie justin's mom don't tell him but i know he would absolutely be really happy if you would sign up to his free weekly newsletter And don't forget to share this with all your friends. This is the buzzing bumblebee signing off. That was so good. listening to this episode it's time to go for now but our mission does not end with this show justin and kate will be back with another interview packed full of ideas discoveries and unique ways to regain your health head on over to extremehealthradio.com forward slash subscribe and instantly download our free gift too that contains cutting edge strategies to start making healthy lifestyle changes today No material on this blog is intended to suggest that you should not seek professional medical care. Always work with qualified medical professionals, even if you educate yourself in the field of live food, nutrition, and alternative medicine. I'm not a doctor, nor am I offering readers medical advice of any kind. None of the information offered here should be interpreted as a diagnosis of any disease, nor an attempt to treat or prevent any disease or condition. While information in this blog...